Hi, this is Max. In this video I want to introduce some great character rigs for Maya for virtual reality animation. And the best thing is, they are all 100% free. So if you're learning animation and have access to Maya and a VR headset, then you can immediately start animating in VR just like you would with a stop motion figure. The first rig I want to show you is also called Max, but we're not related. It may not look very fancy, well I guess we have that in common, but it's a very well made rig with straightforward controls. One thing I love about this rig are the facial controls in the floating panel. They are already restricted in their motion so that you can't accidentally break the rig. So now you can for example drop an audio file in the Maya timeline, activate auto keyframe and move this control while listening and looking at the mouth. Voila, instant lip sync. The foot control offers a lot of details on the foot placement such as rolling and banking. You can edit those in the channel box. Click on the item in the channel box and your tool will switch to Maya attribute dragging. Now you can just hold your trigger in empty space and move the controller left and right. Holding the Alt button will reduce the effect for more precision. And holding the Shift button will increase the effect for faster motion. The second rig I want to introduce is the Dude. It's more complex and offers more details to play around. If you're using Maya 2022, the picker script might not work. This is because of the update from Python 2 to Python 3. But all you need to do to fix the script is to open it in a text editor, search for occurrences of the print command, and make sure that whatever follows the print command is in brackets. Also, the version 2 picker sometimes has layout issues. To fix this, search for the keyword sizable and change it from true to false. Save the file and just drop it in Maya. And there's the picker on the desktop and in VR. To use it, click the search button. Then the rig should appear in the drop down box and the picker is ready to use. If you're using version 2 of this rig, then some of the controls might evaluate really slow at first. But there is a workaround. Just select all controls in the picker, set a keyframe, change the frame, and then in the Maya script entry box type xform minus r for relative, minus ro for rotation, a minimal rotation, minus T for translation, and again a very minimum translation, and a semicolon. Hit enter and set another frame. Now the controls evaluate much faster. Wow, that was a lot of preparation to get started, but it's totally worth it. For example, this rig has additional controls for the size and shape of the muscles, so you can really make the dude flex. This may seem silly, but subtle changes in the muscle on every motion can make your animation much more realistic. For even more details, there are even more controllers hidden in the hand and leg controller. Just turn on secondary vis and you'll see. If you want to practice animating some animals, there is the Great Dane rig. It is absolutely adorable and quite easy to use. When you first open it, in VR you will see a lot of stuff that you didn't see in the viewport. 
That's because it was hidden in the viewport by visibility settings. Open the Marui visibility settings dialog. And select load from model view to get the same view. Another thing you might notice is that the mesh is selectable. So for convenience, I just open the layer editor, create a new layer with a selected mesh, and set it to reference. Now it's not selectable anymore. All right, now when animating a dog, there are a few differences to humans. For example, while the front leg has something similar to an elbow controller, on the hind legs that's reversed. That's because technically this is the heel of the foot and not a reverse knee. The paws are also more limited than human fingers. But the rig still offers controls to move them independently. Note that the overall curling and spreading of the digits is controlled in the PAW controller. The ears don't have any controllers, but you can still move them by just animating the joints directly. You'll also notice that there are no jaw and tongue controllers, even though there are separate joints for the jaw and the tongue. Sadly though, the skinning isn't really working well for these, so you can't use them for more than just a minimal amount of secondary animation. One final quirk in this rig are the neck controls. They are only positional controls. Their rotation doesn't seem to have any effect. So you might be looking for the IK-FK switch for the head, but there doesn't seem to be one. The head is always IK. So the only thing these neck controls can be used for is to wiggle the neck a bit. A more advanced canine rig is Douglas the Corgi. Especially the facial controls allow for much more expression than the Great Dane. It comes with an Anim School Picker, so you have to install the Anim School Picker plugin first. Then a simple call to the anim school picker command will open the picker and you can use it in VR. The tail is special in that it actually has two sets of controls. One is the usual rotation control allowing for forward kinematics. But next to it, there are IK controls. These are super convenient and quickly arranged with Marui's Quick Drag tool, which doesn't require a separate selection step. Okay, now you have three free rigs to practice your animation. There's one more tip I want to give you. You might want to use some video files as a reference for your animation. Of course, you can just open your Windows desktop in VR and watch the video there. But there is an even better way that links the video frame with the Maya frame. And that is to create a new camera and set the video as its image plane, which is in the environment section. Maya doesn't support all movie files, but you can always convert your video to an image sequence. Use the frame offset attribute to adjust where in your timeline the movie should start. Now you can see the video frame by frame 
as you move through the Maya timeline while you work on your animation. You can even move, rotate and scale the video in VR. Well, technically you're editing the camera, but it works the same way. And in the attribute editor, you can change the transparency as well. And that's it, thanks for watching and happy animating!